Yeah, we have this um, another distressing news coming out for the states. Just you know, they just don't stop in it. Like, if there's one thing you can count on American police officers to do, is to just use you know the <coughs> maximum level of force to render maximum level of force in order to render help wherever it may be, right? But also, this situation kind of is a little bit complex, um, and it's just tragic all around, always shape or form. But it just doesn't end over there. It really doesn't. So this is courtesy of Sky News. Da, 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 da. Got it here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there you go. It's there. Coach Sky News says Black girl shot dead by police minutes before Derek Chauvin verdicts are read. Absolutely tragic circumstance, isn't it? Right? Um, it says police have shot and killed a, a young black girl just before Derek Chauvin was convinced, convicted of murdering George Floyd. Sorry, shooting on Tuesday afternoon in Columbus, Ohio came after police responded to reports of an attempted stabbing. The caller had said fe said females were trying to stab them and put their hands on them according to columbus interim police chief michael woods no further details were gathered from the caller who rang up on the phone according to columbus, columbus dispatch it's unclear what then led the police to shooting the girl but she was taken to hospital where she was pronounced dead nobody else was injured Woods said this is a tragic incident for all involved but especially for the family of the female as i said earlier the bureau of criminal investigation conducting the criminal investigation to this incident at the conclusion of the investigation the division police will conduct an administrative review of the actions of the officer and all the officers at the scene franklin county uh children's services confirmed the teenager was micaiah bryant and she was a foster care according to the dispatch some reports said that she was 15 others said that she was 16 columbus mayor andrew ginter said that the police had body worn cameras at the time of the scene and we know based on the footage that the officer took action to protect another girl in our community but a family is grieving tonight and this 15 year old girl will never be coming home according to the associated press the footage shows the officer shooting micaiah as she appeared to attempt to stab two people with a knife key detail here a black handed a black handled blade resembling a kitchen knife or a steak knife appeared to be lying on the sidewalk next to her immediately after she was shot and fell the report later said the death came after the death came about 25 minutes before the judge in Minneapolis read uh, out a guilty verdict for the Derek Chauvin cases. Um, this related to the death of George Floyd. Again, I don't know why they're linking George Floyd to this, but, you know, what can we do? A black man who died in a, during an arrest in last May, Kimberly Shepard, 50, has lived in Columbus neighborhood 17 years, and she said she knew the victim. She said to her neighbor, Jamie Jones, had celebrated the guilty verdict of Chauvin, but things changed very quickly. We were happy about the verdict, but you couldn't even enjoy that because as you were getting on the phone call that he was guilty, one i'm getting the next phone call that this is happening in my neighborhood now the actual video of the incident of course is graphic so if you're watching this via youtube make sure you just skip and do something else and then come back later but um the video does kind of exonerate the cop in some level because what it does go to show is that tragically what ended up happening if you read between the lines is that the girl that got shot was the one that was going to get rushed by a group of girls so she i don't know preemptively called the police kind of warning them that these girls are going to try and beat me up a group of them then somehow between the argument outside the aggressors who came to her house then called the police themselves and alleged that the girl had a knife which she did have to defend herself outside of her home and then in the process of fighting i guess or in a skirmish in the argument the police officers happened to get there just as they're about to start kicking off and then as they're kicking off and the the, the quote-unquote person that's about to get hit which is the makaya girl and she lunges towards the, one of the girls and pins her up against a car so giving her no option to kind of get out of the way the police officer kind of feels like he has no other option but to unload four bullets in her that's where i kind of get a bit dubious about hey isn't there any other way that you could um sort of uh what's that thing called restrain somebody with a knife apart from just shooting them center mass and kind of making sure that they are you know um taken off this earth isn't there a way that you can kind of resist them in some level of extent i'm not really sure but this is the video of the actual full encounter itself this poor fucking girl. I'm not gonna put this shit on camera. But he fucking shot this girl talking about she tried to stab him. The fuck? This is somebody's fucking daughter, bitch. Breaking news in Ohio tonight where a Columbus police officer has shot and killed a 16 year old foster child. Columbus police received a 911 call at 4 35 p.m. about an attempted stabbing at 3100 block of Legion Lane. The caller reported a female was trying to stab them, then the caller hung up. Officers responded to the scene, and at 4 45 p.m., that is when the officer involved shooting was reported. Moments after the shooting, family and neighbors gathered at the scene to find 16-year-old Micaiah Bryant dead after being shot four times by a Columbus police officer. 
The scene unfolded extremely quickly, and in less than 20 seconds of arriving on the scene, the officer fired the fatal shots. Here's that video right now, released by Columbus Police Department during a press conference. So the video is not that great of quality because it was a video of a video on a display at the police headquarters. And when you first watch this in real time, you don't actually even clock where the knife is. You don't even see that the girl's got a knife. So you have to kind of give, uh, well, you have to kind of tip your hat to the police for being able to kind of spot danger and kind of threats. Maybe that's something you learn in training, you know, to look for hands or whatever it may be. But I didn't even spot the knife the first, the first time around. You kind of have to get the video slowed down for you to actually spot where the knife was. But it's just such an unfortunate incident. Like the police just got there just as she was about to try and stab this girl. It looked like she was about to try and stab the girl. And then in that instant, unfortunately for her, she looked at the aggressor. And I guess the police had no other option but to shoot her because she was about to stab somebody else. So in an effort to save somebody's life, they had to kill somebody. Just so such a terrible thing all the way all all the way around there for everybody involved. Now that was quick and you probably didn't see it the first time, but here is it again in slow motion. They come out fighting. I think that's a dad or somebody pushing over one of the girls. I guess that's in the group of the aggressor. She falls onto the floor. Right. She was fairly young to me as well. So, right. Cool. All kind of youngish looking girls. And then as she's falling on the floor, the dad or the, the older guy that's in this home attempts to hit her while she's on the ground. The police are supports out his gun. He then attempts to kick her in the head, I think, right here. Look, there we go. He tries to kick her in the head. Then the Makai girl grabs the girl that's the aggressor, pins her up against towards a car, pulls out a knife, and is going to stab Makai attempting her, to stab yeah? the female yeah. in pink with a large knife, and that's when the officer opens fire, striking and killing Makai Bryant. <sighs> tragic, isn't it? Absolutely tragic, man. But four bullets, Columbus though. paramedics were cleared to come into the scene at 446, and the victim was transported in critical condition to Mount Carmel East Hospital, where she was pronounced dead at 521 p.m. Jesus Christ. The victim is 16-year-old Micaiah Bryant, who is currently in foster care by the Franklin County Children's Services. The Columbus Police Department released body cam footage late Tuesday night showing Bryant stabbing another person when the officer opened fire, fatally striking the teen. Again, tragic circumstances, but I just don't see how this has any relation to George Floyd whatsoever, apart from they share the same skin color. Um, again, it's just there needs to be a better conversation around conduct well, uh, uh, there needs to be a conversation had especially with black people in america around how they kind of act around police officers because i just don't understand the logic around taking out a knife or getting into a physical altercation with cops around i just as always assumed whenever people say 5 or the feds are around or whatever it may be that you run right whenever there's an altercation you don't want to be caught having one in front of a cop because you might have to spend a night in jail and let's say you've got a knife that might then be a far more serious charge i would imagine the same thing would happen even if you're in a open carry state and you had a gun it would definitely be something that would be um uh it wouldn't be advantageous to your ability to stay alive if you pulled out a gun and try to defend yourself in front of cops too it just doesn't sound like the great thing to do in that regard and i just don't know what the right answer is to kind of sort this out and get this to be not be something that happens so often because again a 15 16 year old girl lost her life because she was trying to defend herself but then she was unlucky that at the time that she was trying to defend herself the police came and then again how are they meant to assess that situation she's just about to it looks like stab one of the girls in the abdomen which is going to be a fatal blow that's where all your vital organs are that's that's not something that's going to you know something that's going to be able to walk off that might be something that could result in that girl passing away um I would only argue that is it necessary for every sh every time a police officer pulls out their gun that it should result in somebody's death? Should it always be shoot to kill? That's the only thing that really I'm skeptical on. I'm not too sure about the laws in America. Maybe it's different. I don't really have a clue about it. But why is it always whenever they pull out their gun, they have to shoot to kill? Why can't they just maim you? Why can't they shoot you in the leg? Again, there's no guarantee to shoot in the leg that you might not die still because it might hit an artery. But still, give me the opportunity to like, you know, limp for the rest of my life. Fair enough, but at least I'm alive or shoot me in the shoulder or something. It's always sent 
center of mass right and f i don't know four bullets like jesus christos man i get i get because someone's life was in danger so it, clearly he's saving her life and i've seen some people argue that if the aggressor was white and that girl was black and placed in it people would be happy uh whatever let's not get into like semantic race baiting you know skin color game things whatever it's tragic regardless a young girl lost her life but it's just on one hand it seems like the police are just too trigger happy on the other side as well there's definitely a conversation need to be had about how certain people within america decide to interact with police or decide to interact in general with other people when police are around it just doesn't seem like the logical like it seemed to me <clears throat> if you do get into an interaction or altercation with a police officer you just should comply because they've got the law on their hands on their side and they've also got guns they're always going to win so you're always at a disadvantage why would you put yourself in that position it just doesn't make any sense um it's just so tragic again a foster child she's probably been through a hell of a life already maybe she's just gotten settled in and in this new home who knows what her situation is but to be in a position where now all of a sudden off the back of you know just before the verdict has been called out for george floyd which has again nothing to do with this case whatsoever and then your life is being taken away from you and this tragic circumstance is just terrible terrible all around but again maybe maybe this is just a natural kind of consequence of just living in a society where you decide to give cops a carte blanche to just shoot at will do you know what i mean maybe this is just it this is just kind of the unfortunate consequences of it you might get a opportunity where they stop some terrorist in their track but they also get as circumstances where they shoot unarmed 15 year olds or sometimes armed 15 year olds um but some people on twitter at the moment are just going insane they're trying to paint this out as if like she was just sitting on a park bench eating a sandwich and a piece of a shirt in her head obviously she was kind of the you know she was involved in a very heated argument that led to a physical altercation that she was willing to stab another teenager um in the body for do you know what i mean like this is not some play 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 thing and to point it out as if she was literally braiding her hair at home and then the police officer jumped in through her window and strangled her to death is just really beyond the pale but again these people out there who are kind of grifting off the back of this and just using these altercations with police officers as an opportunity to kind of further drive division and kind of grift and pay their mortgage i don't know how these people sleep at night man it's just deplorable and offering no solutions really offering no peace just to continue turmoil that they kind of you know are feeding into just continually stirring the pot it's just horrendous don't get me wrong this incident happened fair enough but the unnecessary narrative that's being painted at the moment it's just weird we all see the video she clearly was being the aggressor in it regardless of if she's the one that called the police at this moment in time the table had turned she had gained the advantage her f you know the, the whoever came to the house was on the floor basby kicked to the head by a dude the other girl was pinned up against the side of a car you know with a girl that looked considerably bigger than her about to lunge with a knife into her abdomen that wasn't going to end well so to paint it out as anything else is just really really disrespectful in all things considered it just is weird i just don't understand it but you know again i'm not over there maybe there's more fit more to it than meets the eye and if there is let me know in the comments down below and i'll get back to you